The Hungry Man in the Dark This story is from Al-Bukhari and Muslim Sharif Hadith. Long ago, during the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, a very weak and tired man came to the Prophet. He told the Prophet that he was very hungry and did not eat anything in a very long time. The Prophet did not have any food with him. So he told someone to tell one of his wives, but she said that they did not have anything except water. Again, the Prophet, may peace and blessings be upon him, sent a message to his other wife, but she said the same thing too. He sent the same message to all of his wives, and they all said the same thing because none of them had any food either. At this point, there were very few people around him. So the Prophet said out loud, who will be able to feed this hungry man as their guest? Right away, an Ansar, one of the Sahaba from Medina said, O Prophet of Allah, I will. The Prophet, he was happy that he finally figured out a solution to his problem. So the Ansar took the hungry man to his home. Once they got home, the Ansar told his wife to prepare some food for the guest of the Prophet. His wife told him that they didn't have anything except just a little bit of food for the children. Her husband, the Ansar, said to keep the children busy with something and when they ask for food, just put them to sleep. When it was finally time to eat, at first, they were worried because there was only a little bit of food and a total of three of them were there at that moment. The hungry man, the Ansar, and his wife. They wanted to give their guest the food, but did not want him to feel bad. So the wife quickly turned off the light and gave the hungry man his food in the darkness. Even though only the hungry man was the only one eating, to make sure that he did not know that, both the Ansar and his wife were pretending to eat with him. The next morning, when the Ansar came to the Prophet smiled and said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows and loved what you did yesterday for your guest last night. This story shows us how important it is to serve our guests because the blessings in our life will only grow when we give to others, especially to those in need. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Hashr verse 9, Whoever helps the needy will be successful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to be successful in this life and the hereafter by helping each other. Ameen. This was the end of our story for today. Make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel so you and many more people can get Islamic reminders so that we can become better Muslims and please our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And until next time, Assalamu alaikum. Join us in this great da'wah work and get countless of rewards during the month of Ramadan by giving a one-time donation or becoming a monthly supporter. And inshallah, Allah will give you the highest reward to you and your family in this world and the hereafter. Zazakallah, and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of you are safe during this time. And until next time, Assalamu alaikum.